Our goal in this project is to find ways that we can reliably measure fit in real time on people in the workplace while wearing respirators. When a worker is introduced to the respirator in the workplace, they are given a yearly fit test. And this fit test not only ensures that the respirator fits them appropriately, but they are also taught how to don it properly. The problem with this annual fit test, however, is that it is only once a year. And research has shown that within two weeks, most people start to forget how to appropriately don a respirator. The current test is what's called an aerosol penetration test. And it uses this device over here, and it attaches to your respirator through a grommet you have to add. So basically, you can't use that respirator. It's only for the test. Current test methods use something called a port account. Port account takes the ratio or the count of particles inside the mask and compares them to the count of particles outside the mask. However, this can only be done by destroying the mask. Using a real-time method allows the worker to don their mask in the field, in the workplace, check for any leaks or inappropriate donning, fix the donning if needed, and then allow the worker to go to work and continue their job. The question here is, would an approach that allows us to do it in real time give us the same information we get from a laboratory test, except it would be associated with you wearing the respirator and going about your normal job? The current status of our project is comparing several different methods to check real time. Some of the methods we're using are infrared imaging, ultrasound, and pressure within the mask. What we're doing now is comparing those methods to the current methods used for leakage and see how well they can predict that. So far, we know that using the infrared imaging, we can detect leaks around the respirator seal. We know that using ultrasound, we can detect the same leaks. And so far, we found that both ultrasound and infrared do correlate to the fit of the mask. And we haven't gone too much into analyzing the pressure data yet, but from what we have, the pressure also correlates with the IR and the ultrasound fit. We want to identify with the data we get where workers may not be protected. And we may find that, we may not, but we don't know until we measure it. So that's the goal here is to uh, give workers the information that can be used to understand where they won't be protected and make appropriate adjustments to rectify that. If a worker dons a respirator daily, they are more likely to know how to properly don the respirator because they are using it every day. Of course, being able to check the fit immediately would be very beneficial to them. However, the workers that only use them in emergency situations, which might be once a year, once every two years, are going to be the more targeted audience for this because they don't wear it all the time. They don't necessarily remember the proper donning methods. So being able to put it on and have them check the fit to make sure they're properly protected will protect them more in the emergency situation. Healthcare expressed an interest in having a device that would tell them just the information that we hope to get from this project. And if we're successful in identifying an approach and then taking that into a device that will actually work, that will allow some useful information to get to people that use these devices in the field. There is no one particular program that this work will support. This will benefit every single respirator user once it's complete. The overall mission of NIOSH is to ensure that all workers are safe and can safely do their jobs and go home at the end of the day. Providing something that can test the fit of the respirator in real time will help ensure that NIOSH fulfills its mission and improves respirator fit going forward.